Monthly date nights are ideal for initiating financial discussions, ensuring that both partners align their financial goals. After all, it's well known that money can fuel or extinguish the flames of passion. Ready to embark on a journey of boundless creativity, purpose and adventure as an artistic soul? Hey, I'm Lara Bianca Pilcher. I'm passionate about empowering artists like you to live out your creative dreams and nurture yourself at the core of your artistic journey. Let's explore the art of vibrant living and creative expression. As an artist, actor, writer and showbiz educator with over 20 years of experience in the arts and entertainment industry across the globe, London, Australia and now Atlanta, USA, I'm here to guide you through the mess and magic of this ever-evolving creative life. From performing on TV, film and stage to roles both on and off stage, my journey in the arts has woven a diverse tapestry of experiences. This positions me to help you navigate the path to unlocking the full potential of your artistic soul. Alongside my auditions, submissions and industry hustles, I've had the privilege of educating artists and living a joyful marriage with two wonderful kids. Expect genuine conversations from real-life lessons, struggles and triumphs that have shaped my journey. It's a journey I'm excited to share with you. This is your masterclass in how to craft a fulfilling, vibrant and art-filled life. Get ready for the Healthy, Wealthy, Wise Artist Podcast, your key to unlocking the full potential of your artistic soul. Stay tuned for enlightening conversations, practical tips and inspiring stories that will elevate your purpose, adventure and creativity. Let's go. Hey, welcome to another episode of Healthy, Wealthy, Wise Artist, the podcast. In this episode, we're going to explore the intersection of creativity and a very sexy topic, financial well-being. Now, I'm not joking. My husband and I did something that was truly transformative around our money, and I am not a finance coach, but I am an artist, and I do know that these steps have changed our life and made money a lot more sexy. I'm your host, Lara, and today we're diving into a topic that will resonate with artistic souls everywhere, financial bliss. You know, and this may not be at the forefront of a lot of artists' minds. They think, it's unattainable, I'm in the wrong career. But what if I told you that taking control of your finances can bring you not only security, but also infuse vitality and enthusiasm into your life and your relationships. So in this episode, we're going to step into the realm of the book that changed my life, The Barefoot Investor, a profoundly transformative book written by Australian author Scott Pape that has left an indelible mark on my life as an artist. And for our listeners in the USA, we'll also explore the American counterpart, Dave Ramsey. The Barefoot Investor hails from Australia, while the total money makeover is rooted in the USA. Both books offer valuable financial wisdom that transcend geographical boundaries. However, it's important to remember that there are cultural nuances specific to certain areas like retirement funds and related topics that may vary between the two nations. Now, before you go yawn factor in retirement funds, let me tell you that I'm about to tell you how money got a lot sexier for my husband and I. (laughs) In this episode, we're going to delve into the concept of a monthly financial date night. This is a practice that has the potential to catalyze a profound shift in your financial well-being. Whether you're single or you're in a relationship, this practice can guide artistic souls toward financial contentment and serenity. Yes, please. At first, the idea of a monthly date night dedicated to finances might sound odd, but trust me, it's not about crunching numbers. It's an opportunity to track your financial goals while savouring wine and delicious food and say goodbye to those mundane after-work financial discussions or heated arguments when bills pile up and embrace the excitement of these dedicated evenings. 
Now, my husband and I did this. We went through the book as we did, a little bit, uh, like a chapter at a time. It was so relaxing, so different to what we had done before, and really did help us to get our ducks in a row financially. Awareness of your financial situation is crucial for achieving financial bliss. Don't sweep it under the carpet, especially for artistic souls. Monthly date nights provide the ideal platform for initiating financial discussions and ensuring that both partners align their financial goals. And for those who are listening who are flying solo, this is your opportunity to lay the foundation for a financially secure romantic future. After all, it's well known that money can fuel or extinguish the flames of passion. So let's dive into the steps to transform these nights into a creative financial adventure. The Barefoot Investor introduces the Serviette Strategy. See what he did there? He is certainly creative. A simple yet effective way to simplify your financial life. First, create buckets, which are accounts, to allocate your income creatively. There's four buckets. These bank accounts are... The blow bucket, 60% of your income should cover everyday expenses like rent, bills and groceries. They go in to your blow bucket. 20% of your income to your fire extinguisher bucket. This is where you save for big goals and pay off debts. 10% of your income to your splurge bucket. I love the name of this account and I have a card that has splurge. So you treat yourself to the joys of life. And you can't go over because that account is empty when you're finished splurging. (laughs) And 10% to your smile bucket to plan for future adventures or milestones. Choosing the right financial institution, as in bank, is critical. And this step can be as simple as looking for banks with zero bank fees. Now, this is a way that anybody can save money today. Or those banks that don't penalise you for going slightly under, as they say, arrears in your account because you get charged fees. Furthermore, this minor change can significantly affect your financial journey over the years. So I did what Barefoot said and found a bank that had zero fees and did not allow me to go under and didn't charge me when it allowed me to go under. And I'm sure you've all experienced the frustration of this. However, when I was in that situation, I did call the bank and say, hey, I'm really trying to get my finances together and they did reimburse the overdraft fees. So make sure that you try that if you haven't already. Because debt can be overwhelming, but Barefoot Investor has a plan to tackle it head on and it's so creative. It's calculate, negotiate, eliminate, detonate, celebrate. Let's break that down. Calculate is to list all your debts creating a clear financial picture of where you're at. Negotiate, lower interest rates or consider switching banks. Eliminate is physically cut up your credit cards to eliminate temptation. Detonate, start with the smallest debt to gain momentum and then celebrate each victory no matter how small. So we, my husband and I, on our financial date night, set this up in yes at the beginning things might be a mess and ours were years ago we had very messy finances and no system to support our goals but we slowly integrated these very simple steps and it really does help when you see it written down in the usa financial coach dave ramsey calls paying off your debt snowballing your debts and i love this because of the visual picture so he means start with the smallest and work your way up so what this looks like is you get the small snowball and throw it towards your smallest debt roll that snowball using the smallest debts money that you no longer are paying that off because you've paid it off and pay off the next biggest one etc etc taking the funds that you were paying those off and paying off the next one This is a really practical tip that can assist you in eliminating debt effectively. Now, I've got so many artist friends who it's not on their radar to even think about buying a home because they just don't see it ever being possible. But home ownership is still attainable for artists, even with the occasional indulgence in smashed avo and a coffee. 
And for those who don't speak Australian, avo is avocado. <laughs> Barefoot Investor says to avoid the common mistakes like waiting for the market to crash or buying beyond your means and to focus on saving a 20% deposit, keeping your mortgage manageable and considering other housing options. However, Dave Ramsey suggests ensuring home ownership won't drown you in financial struggle because if it will, don't buy, period. For me, how I got my house was while I was in one of those parallel careers or side hustles that was on staff, that was a regular income, and I went, bam, this is my time to get a house. So don't for a minute think it's not possible for you because there's little windows of time where you can actually go, I'm going to try to get the home now while I have this fantastic amount of income that's regular that the bank is going to smile at. Now, Barefoot Investor advises exploring the possibilities of buying an investment property also while supercharging your retirement fund contributions to 15%. Even modest additional contributions can significantly impact your retirement savings, offering a more comfortable future. Now, a lot of people yawn at this, particularly if you're young and you haven't thought about retirement. Well, I'm going to tell you why you can start looking at retirement through this lens. Look at the people in your life that are in retirement, if you have any. It could be your parents or your grandparents, and look at their quality of life and see whether it's something you want when you're that age or not. And if it's not, work out a plan as to how to avoid it. Now, I've seen couples in retirement that have a house in Greece and a house in England, and they spend their summers enjoying their warm, beautiful Greek home. (laughs) And I've seen couples who are pinching pennies and all they can live off is the pension or whatever it's called in wherever you live. And that is not something I want for myself. And it quite frankly, scares me. So, If that's you and you have a picture of that, make sure you plan accordingly. Because that couple that has the Greek home, they didn't get that overnight. It takes planning. Now, Dave Ramsey emphasizes investing 15% of your gross income into a tax-favored retirement account, like your 401k and IRA. Do this every month for a secure financial future. And the good thing about these accounts is that they build interest. And what's great about that is that if you put in a certain amount now, it is going to be a heck of a lot more every single year. So make sure that you do it so that you can have that retirement that you see. That is like that couple running on the beach holding hands with gray hair that's so happy gosh, I want that. Right. (laughs) Start by examining before any of this house talk or investing, examine your monthly expenses and multiply that by three or six to determine the amount you should save for your emergency fund. This is before a house. The Barefoot Investor calls this account the mojo bucket. Having three months living expenses in this fund provides peace of mind and adds financial freedom to your life. Dave Ramsey also suggests building an emergency fund as a critical step to financial stability. One of his very first steps is a starter emergency fund of a thousand US dollars and he will say get that money any way you can obviously within reason But that could be selling stuff, that could be Uber Eats driving, whatever it is, get that money. And that is not a home deposit. That is not spendings. This money is for emergencies. Because things come up, like suddenly you have a $500 car bill and you don't need to panic because you have that money aside and it doesn't interfere with what's going on in your goals and your financial bliss. Now, there's some varying advice from the money coaches here due to the different countries economic systems so do your research based on where you live but barefoot shares that lowering your mortgage interest rate and making extra repayments can save you thousands over years additionally keeping your mortgage simple and avoiding fixed rates because in australia they are much more expensive mortgages. Now, that's not the same in the USA. The USA 
the government guarantees the loans. And so you can get a fixed rate that can be fantastic. I know right now in the world things are a bit topsy-turvy, but look at what it is for your country and what works for your country. But make sure whatever you do, negotiate better deals with your bank because this can further enhance your financial situation. Consider professional assistance to secure a lower interest rate because interest (laughs) wastes your money. Let me tell you, if you've ever looked at the percentage of interest on your credit card, sometimes, oh my goodness, a lot of them are 30%. And what you don't realize, and I wish, I mean, I was going to call this episode 10 things I wish someone told me at the start of my arts career. One day I looked at the interest on my loan and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to pay $4,000 more for this $1,000 loan (laughs) than I did to have. So at the end, it was $5,000. And that's how ridiculous interest is. So make sure whatever you've got interest on, that you negotiate a lower rate because it really makes a difference. Now, USA-based Ramsey teaches that a 15-year fixed rate mortgage is the best type of mortgage and the only one that Ramsey ever recommends to his home buyers because it has the lowest total compared to all the other types of mortgages. Retirement planning requires a clear strategy. So first focus on paying off your home, reaching a retirement fund balance that aligns with your retirement goals, and remaining active even in retirement. Finally, ensure your finances align with your desired retirement lifestyle. Financial bliss for artistic souls is a lifelong quest, so plan ahead, think ahead. Now, as you achieve this financial stability and plan through your date nights and considering and putting down on paper the things that you want to, Consider how you can make a positive impact on the lives of others. You might not have the finances to do it, but whether it's through financial contributions or through your time, giving back can leave a lasting legacy. And it really does matter in the long run. Embracing the barefoot investors principles, even through the lens of an artistic soul, can lead to financial bliss and a life filled with creative abundance. Furthermore, It empowers individuals to take control of their financial destinies. By nurturing your financial health, you'll secure your future and infuse energy and passion into your artistic endeavors and your relationships. So start the monthly date nights. Doesn't matter if it's an artist date alone, but embark on this creative financial journey and unlock the doors to a far more vibrant and prosperous life. Financial security is not just for the pragmatic. It's a canvas for artists to paint their dreams on. And it really is never too late to start. So just start. Get this book. So if you want to explore these transformative books, as highlighted in this episode, you can find them on my Amazon page, Healthy, Wealthy, Wise Artist Amazon page. You can find the link to that in the show notes, wherever you're listening to this episode, or at larabiancapilcher.com and head to the blog and you will find the show notes. The Barefoot Investor hails from Australia, while the Total Money Makeover is rooted in the USA, but both offer financial wisdom. Through the cultural nuances surrounding retirement funds and other related topics. So, thank you for joining me on this episode of Healthy Wealthy Wise Artist. Please share it with a friend. I would love you to help me get the word around if you love this podcast. Now, remember your financial journey is as unique as your art, it's not going to look like somebody else's. So, be encouraged. Do what you need to do for you wherever you are. I'm with you on the journey, friend. If you need coaching or you want to just check out other resources, head to my website, larabiancapilcher.com, where I have loads of offerings for artistic souls like you. Until next time, bye, friends. Phew, today's masterclass is done. I love reaching back and saying, I've done this and helping you learn the easy way. If you want more, head to larabiancapilcher.com for show notes, links, freebies, my blog, coaching and courses. And you can also head to my socials, larabiancapilcher on Instagram 
and Facebook. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest. Thanks again for listening. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. That would mean the world to me. And of course, keep on living the healthy, wealthy, wise artist living towards your dream life. Bye, friends. P.S. Shout out to my hottie hubby, Andrew Pilcher, who does all the editing on this podcast.